Hey guys, how y'all doing? How is your weekend going so far? I hope y'all are having a great one. I hope y'all were safe from all the storms and all this bad, crazy weather we've had. Um, did a whole short earlier. If you can, if you can help out, Red Cross would love to take donations. If you would like to donate to try to help out, but just keep those keep those folks in your thoughts and prayers for sure. But a great week five slate of games coming up, especially in the SEC. It's going to do a little bit of rundown. Um, like I want to start doing, like I, I think I've done once before, um, but just of the games of the games in the in the SEC. Um, Kentucky's going to Oxford to play Ole Miss. Uh, you know, we'll find out more about these teams. You know, is Jackson Dart the real deal? Um, he leads. He's at the top of the list in a lot of uh, categories, uh, statistical categories for for quarterbacks, both you know passing yards and and all this. So, you know, we'll see. You know, he's, I th this Ole Miss team, you know, pretty much the only Power Five team they've played so far was the Wake Forest thing, and barely. So, you know, now against, you know, more of a – more of a, a an even – more evenly matched opponent, you know, we'll see. I'm sure Ole Miss, you know, won't have too many problems with that, but we'll see. Um, Mississippi State and Texas – you almost hate to see this game happen because Mississippi State is basically the new worst team in the SEC. Um, and that's probably debatable, but, you know, losing to Florida last week, you know, they, they just haven't had a good year. And on top of all of that, their starting quarterback that has taken them this far uh, through the season is having to have season ending shoulder surgery. So, but you know, if you're Mississippi State, who knows what what happens from here? You know, a, a, another quarterback could just completely turn things around for them, but they couldn't get anything going against Florida and Florida was able to run and pretty much pass at will. Um the Mississippi State's defense in the Florida game anyway was just atrocious. So, you know, hopefully, you know, for the sake of seeing a halfway decent game, maybe, you know, Mississippi State has taken a few steps this week. But, you know, if you're Texas, I mean, you know, how do you realistically want to approach this if you're Texas? Um, you could win this game. The game could be over at halftime, and Texas could have played their third string team, their, their third team on, on both sides of the ball. So, and with the game being in Austin, you're going to have all the Texas hype with their fans and everything. So, again, we'll see. You know, how entertaining this game is going to be is really going to be subjective and, and kind of a, kind of a toss-up. LSU gets South Alabama at home at night in Baton Rouge. So, you know, a lot of y'all probably know better than me, all the, you know, the LSU fans are going to be hopped up on Mountain Dew and whatever else they can find in Baton Rouge during the day. And it's they're they're going to have a hell of a night. Um, you know, even with it being a, a non-conference opponent, you know, the, the atmosphere in Baton Rouge, especially at night, is like none other. You know, I'm, I'm sure some of y'all have probably been there and know what I'm talking about. Many more of you, I'm sure, have seen it on TV. That is two completely different things, uh, seeing it on TV and seeing it in person. And all you LSU fans that have been to your home games, y'all can back me up on that. Um, but, you know, with a non-conference opponent, you know, we'll see. You know, what's that defense going to look like? Um, you know, how much of Harold Perkins Jr. are we going to say? Are we going to see? Um, I don't think he's out for the year, but he did leave with an injury last week, I think. So, you know, how much of him we're going to see, you know, how is Garrett Nussmeyer going to come continue to go through the season? You know, LSU's kind of kind of walking through the season like a like a sleeper team, you know. We'll, ju we'll just we'll just have to see, you know, when LSU gets deeper into their into their SEC play, we'll see how it goes with them. Um Arkansas is going to College Station to play Texas A&M. Again, another game where we're just going to find out more about the two teams that are that are playing. Um, you know, neither one of these teams are the worst team in the league, but you know, you know how how is it how is it going to go? You know, Arkansas um, had that win last week over Auburn. You know, so so what kind of juice are they gonna are they gonna have after that? And just what are they going to look like? So really, just a game where we're just going to find out more about 
about these teams. Now, the Oklahoma Auburn game in Auburn, um, again, you know, for lack of a better way of saying it, uh, another uh, game where we're going to find out more about the teams. Uh, both of these teams are coming off losses. You know, Oklahoma took the loss last week to the Volunteers, and Auburn took the loss from Arkansas. Um, and both of them took these losses at home. So uh, I said in a video earlier when I was talking about the Georgia-Alabama game, you know, when you have a, a game of, of two evenly matched, you know, mutually respected teams, the team that loses – how do you bounce back from that? How, how do you how, how do you keep going? How do you get it out of your head? Use it. How are the coaches going to use it as a teaching moment? You know, which of these teams have moved forward past their loss last week? Um, obviously, somebody's going to win this game. Somebody's going to lose it. But you know, whoever loses this Oklahoma Auburn game, is it going to be because of the loss they took last week? You know, is that still a mental thing for them? Um, so we'll see. Uh, it's going to be – I predict it'll be a close game, um, uh, but entertaining. It, entertaining all four quarters of it for sure. And then, you know, Georgia-Alabama. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I did a whole video preview in Georgia-Alabama. Y'all go – please go and check that out. Um, made some some pretty good points in, in that. Uh, enjoyed making that video. So – but that's, you know, prime time in Tuscaloosa. Game day is going to be there and, and everything that – that that goes with it, um, you know. Alabama has won most of these games, and and again, it's it's all in that preview video that I already did. But the one thing that I will kind of kind of bring up for for now, you know, if you're Georgia, we're fixing to find out: has Georgia had problems beating Alabama, or has Georgia had pro or has Georgia had problems beating a Nick Saban coached team? So we'll see. But, you know, here we are in week five. We're almost halfway through the season. And it's, it's crazy that, that we're already this far in, into, into the season. But we are into the part of the season, especially now with this new uh, schedule format with the, the, you know, more teams, you know, play in the conference games, fewer non-conference games. Uh, we are getting into the meat of the season. I know uh, Tennessee for sure, even though they're off this week, for the rest of the season, Tennessee only has one non-conference game still left on the schedule. So, and now I'm sure it's the same way for for all these teams. I haven't looked at every team's schedule yet, but you know what we are getting. I mean, October is upon us. You know, it'll be you know the first weekend of October next weekend. So, uh, yeah, you know we are we are into the thick of the the SEC uh, schedule part of it where I'll, there's going to be a, a lot of these games are going to be conference games and it's already started like i said to kentucky old miss mississippi state texas arkansas a and m oklahoma auburn georgia bama so you know all, all every every sec team that's playing this weekend with the exception of lsu is playing another sec team so again a great slate of games however you you cook it um you know, Tennessee's off this week. South Carolina's off this week getting some rest, and then they'll be back for, for some good games next week. I know Tennessee goes to Fayetteville to play Arkansas next weekend. So depending on how Arkansas does with A&M, is Arkansas going to be coming back home after an A&M loss, or is Arkansas going to be on a two-game winning streak having beaten Auburn and A&M? That game could really – that the Tennessee-Arkansas game next week could really set up to be a really good game, depending on what happens tomorrow in College Station. So we'll see. We'll see. So great week of games. Again, y'all stay safe in all this crazy weather. Uh, take some time to relax if you can this weekend and enjoy these games and the rest of college football. I know uh, Miami is having some serious problems, or they were a little minute a minute ago with Virginia Tech. You know, unranked Virginia Tech, Miami's – you know, rank number seven, and I did a little short video earlier, you know, is Miami officially on uh, upset alert? I haven't looked at the schedule. They, they're they well into the second half already. And so I've, I've been working on this video, so I don't know what the schedule is here, here lately. But I know Virginia Tech took a 24-17 to 17 lead in at halftime. So we'll see. You know, you know Virginia Tech showing, showing a little extra tonight. So – 
again, great games this weekend. Y'all have a great weekend. We'll see you again soon when we come back for the next one.